So it's time now to take a look at how can we use all the tools and the layers to compose a nice illustration of a furniture piece. I will introduce you to kind of like the methodology of how to use the layers to work efficiently, how to work different, or work with different tools, as you can see, to compose a nice rich look. This is not really about art or design. This is really about effective communication and, and simply there's a lot of logic that goes into here. Okay, very good. So let's start with a new drawing. There we are. Let's go to preferences and let's set this to maybe points. Okay. This can be very useful for when we actually draw our tools. Okay, so I have here a soft pencil and I will set this to maybe 2.8. Then I have here a pen and a marker. Let's set the marker color to something dark. Okay, good. Our layer system, we will set to manual. Um, I have pencil, that is good. This will be kind of like on the bottom. Grids and all the stuff is turned off. We will draw everything freehand. You will see how easy that goes. Then let's turn this off to zero on purpose, 100%. Good, so. Before we continue, here is actually one big advice. I'm right-handed, so from left to right, that motion is natural. This is not natural. And this actually, I will bump one point into my body. So, bonk. This is easier. That, while it is a simple tip, is key. Also, no, we do not draw slow, we draw fast. Also, I do not draw out of my arm wrist, sorry, arm wrist, out of my hand wrist. I draw out of my shoulder, my, my arm wrist. When you imagine your hand is broken, your lines will get much better, trust me. So, um, lasso, let's select everything and say, hasta la vista there good okay so let's do a quick uh, scribble what we want kind of like a layout so somewhere we want something like this maybe a little bit longer and then we have these pieces there and a drawer okay so if we take a look at this we have a we have a front edge that's vertical this and then this line we simply repeat this line repeat, this line repeat. So it's a lot of repetition. Okay. So again, um, two fingers now will rotate, but first I need to really figure out, so where's actually a vertical line? So I will just create myself one vertical line. I know, but I need to know this on the paper. Now I can go ahead and actually very loosely sketch over this. Very good. This first line now I can delete. And you see there's my, my helper. Okay, so that's this front line. And now from here, ideally 45 degree this way. Whoa, this is not 45 degree. There, that is. So I have a, a 90 degree corner. Now, this line, I will continue, I'm, I'm ghosting and do it this way. So that's wrong, that's wrong there. Again, don't be shy to draw multiple lines over it. Don't do, don't do like one line drawings. They look like empty. That's a recipe for bad drawings. Now I can also with two fingers undo. I'm putting these lines on purpose actually in the back. That's not correct. Check this out. We select everything and then let's correct the proportion. Okay, maybe this line here. 
Uh, bring to there, this one, bring to there, good. Yeah, so now this looks like a rectangle, okay. Again, drawing is, it, it's logic, it's not really art. Yes, it requires practice, but it's not this mystical thing. Then again, I'm kind of like ghosting this direction and then put the lines down. You see how long I draw these lines. Same here. You also saw how I rotated the image there. And now I'm rotating it for this angle there. These lines are maybe a little bit too low, so zip, zip, zip. And I bring this slightly up, maybe to there, cool. These lines are too long. And then here we have a trim tool. And bye-bye, cool. And you're maybe a little bit too crazy, so I'm rotating it, positioning it there, mm, there, you too, maybe to there. You here, I give you a little bit of freedom, be free. There, actually, I don't like you, you're gone, sorry. Okay, cool, so our underlay is nearly done. Let's um, go back to the pen tool. So this may be the box. Let's go to here. Just call this lines. And this is maybe I call layout box. So back to lines. I will have here ooh, a thin line, kind of like for the top um wooden block and then now this thickness i need to parallel down there okay now here this was too wide again this is an Im a really good example to show why i like concepts because i can just simply select the objects move and rotate them there we are Nope, needs to be a little bit more to the left there. Thank you. There's now our bottom part. There we are. Cool. And here the drawer. Now I need to find the midpoint. So there's the midpoint. There's in that corner and this I delete. Okay. So you see now with, with this, we can very easily show height stuff. Okay. I hope you start noticing, really, I'm not lying when I say drawing is really about process. So when I actually draw a selection, you see here, I have this all on, so I can now select everything on this layer and, and um, move it. I want to turn rotate off scale. I keep there. Very good. Nice. No, I can go now to pen. Um, actually, I will go back here to um, my uh, tool here. Oh, sorry, I was swinging the table a little bit. And I will do the following now. This I will adjust transparency wise. So they're like uh, construction lines now. And now with this harder pen, I go ahead and with much more pen pressure, add more lines to it. Yeah, I know I'm drawing towards myself, but that's a small line.
Yep. I'm gonna try to do this really fast. Now I can see mm, this one. <laughs> What's going on here? That thing is totally garbage. So uh wait. Let's turn all off. And I can rotate it. Let's actually line this up. Okay, this is lined up. And back. Thank you. Yep, that looks better now. What about you? Yeah, you're kind of okay. You're cool. You can stay. Good. Let's make a new layer. Let's go here to this ink tool. So maybe straighter lines there. Okay. Now, because I have a smoothing turned on, I simply, instead of rotating it, I just draw all around because it will actually help me to, the smoothing helps to straighten this out a little bit. Okay, maybe two lines on the bottom. It's kind of like a shadow. Very good. And you see that this actually does not look very good. Why? Not enough lines. And you will notice that I'm not just making this stuff up. Bro sketches very often look boring because they're either too clean or I'm afraid to draw. So I only draw one line and bang, you made not mistake 101. You brought a boringness into your drawing. Cool. Okay. So that looks better now. So let's say here we would like to add a little bit of um, marker also on the, actually let's do the mark on the background. That's kind of cool. So let's actually yeah, call this backdrop. Cool. So here's the marker. And what's the size? Size is good. That is good. Perfect. No. Maybe like this. Okay. Then we can select this, rotate this around. What about we straighten this a little bit? Whoops. Yeah, that doesn't really work. <clears throat> Um, we can maybe stretch, scale this up a little bit. There's, there are also these dots you can click and then you can do cool things like this. No, well, so it's actually pretty, pretty nice. Okay. Now, how do I clean up this stuff on top? Actually, are two, two techniques. First, this I will bring down to the bottom. There, okay. Then on that layer, I will go to, whoops, the erase tool, but obviously have nothing selected. So this is the mask tool. We make this really nice and thick, that is good. And then I start masking it. Yeah, there. What is actually this masking tool doing? Is it still there? Yes, it is. You see, it is kind of like a pass per two. Super useful. If I now actually make a mark again, it however draws over it. So um, the reason why I point this out is this I could copy and come on, go away, delete with a finger, click and wait, paste and reposition it. So we change the vertical order. You see, there it is. Bonk. You go to there. Thank you. And where is it? There it is. Cool. Okay. 
Because the, the masking, that's also something I really love. It is not permanent. It is actually, uh, well, it renders it. Now, to clean up the inside, there are two techniques we can use. We can start trying to clean out the inside with a big brush, and maybe that works. Yeah, and actually, it works pretty good. Cool. Or let's do some old tech stuff. So a new layer, the layer should be on top. We go to where we have actually the fill tool and I will give this a white color. That's the reason why you don't really see the tool. And then I start simply drawing a space inside. There it is. This thing I will select because it has actually 58% transparency. There it is. There, cool. So it's, it is, as you can see, just a white fill. Yeah, that's the same, cool. Let's make a, a quick marker rendering of some material on the, um, the drawer front. So here, new layer. Uh, it's for us now to decide, do we, where do we put this to? Here looks maybe good, so. I will use the same wood or marker there. Then I will very quickly clean this up. And you see I'm doing one stroke. So later when I select it, it is just really only one stroke. Here now I run into the issue that this is too tiny. So there I will go with a smaller one and clean this out. Also don't be too clean here. I, I over, um, I erased it. It's fine. Leave it. These imperfections are nice. And then another layer on top here is actually my other pen. And then I can say, bah, 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 bah. and maybe some, some wiggle lines. Ideally we want to look up some wood references, how this looks. So we have some ideas. I don't have any here right now. And then if we don't like it, now we can play with the transparency. We can select everything on this layer by clicking on this arrow. And then maybe it's saying, well, what about we just make this thicker? Is that helping? Maybe straighten it. Does this help? No. Yeah, or maybe this is just garbage. Oh, and delete it. Yeah, okay, good. Let's keep it at this. Um, I think this was a really good introduction into how to work with layers, how to work with various tools, the markers, trimming, and masking, moving elements around, copy and paste. Yeah, um, maybe one last thing to show if you want to drag something or paste it onto a different layer. Let's say I'm here on backdrop. And I just give this a note. I know this I would like to be onto a different layer, new layer. Okay. There are two ways now. You know, I can do it. this. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. Go to copy go to here and then with a finger press and hold till you see the paste tool there it is so that's number one or we select it and then drag it onto the layer and then the moment I release the finger the object snaps back but onto the correct layer Actually, this is a really nice thing. Let's bring this to there. And then let's make this white. And maybe a little bit thicker. And maybe this, this tool here. Yeah. Nice. Cool. Okay. 